Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Our Sabbath school lesson for this week is entitled, Whose Side Are You On? And it brings to mind a song I used to sing as a young girl. Um, and it goes like this. Whose side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on the Lord's side. Whose side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on the Lord's side. So we're going to talk about, in our lesson today, a group of people who had to decide whose side they were leaning on. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for taking care of us. We thank you for waking us up in our right minds. And Father, we ask that you continue to be with us during this day and during our lesson study. In your son's name, I do pray. Amen. Whose side are you leaning on? So our memory verse is coming from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 1. And it reads, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Let's read that together, boys and girls. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So our song for today, whose side are you leaning on? Okay, so let's join in and sing the song together. I hope you're leaning on that same side too, boys and girls. All right, let's go ahead and experience our lesson study for today. So God had worked a miracle for the Israelites and had parted the waters of the Red Sea when they left Egypt. And now, 40 years later, 
when it was time for them to cross into the land of Canaan, God worked another miracle for them. He dried up the Jordan River so the people could cross safely. As the people crossed, strong men, one from each of the 12 tribes, took up a huge stone from the riverbed and carried it up the bank. Then the men gathered all the stones together to make a huge memorial that will be a reminder forever to the power of their awesome God. The children of Israel were finally in the promised land. Joshua was troubled about his heavy responsibility as commander of Israel's army. So one evening, Joshua decided to take a walk. The city of Jericho was in front of the camp. The Jordan River was behind it. They would have to capture Jericho before they can go any farther into Canaan. Now, boys and girls, Jericho was a big city, a rich city with high, thick walls. How could the Israelite army possibly capture Jericho? They had been living in the desert for 40 long years. They didn't even know anything about war. They didn't have any fancy weapons. So Joshua did what many great men like Moses and Daniel had done. He found a quiet place where he could worship God and find out what God's plans were. Suddenly, Joshua saw a man standing in front of him holding a sword. Joshua walked up to the man and asked, are you for us or for our enemies? If the man was an Israelite soldier, he was in trouble because Joshua hadn't told anyone to leave camp. But if he was an enemy, Joshua was ready to fight. Neither, said the man, I am here as the commander of the Lord's army. Then Joshua knew that he was standing in the presence of the Lord himself. Joshua fell to the ground and bowed at his feet in worship. What do you want me to do? He asked. Take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is holy ground, the commander answered. Then the Lord told Joshua that he had already made the battle plans for Jericho. He told Joshua to have the army march around Jericho once a day for six days. And on the seventh day, they were to march around the city walls seven times. Then the priests would blow their trumpets and the walls would fall down. What a relief! because Joshua had been worrying about battle plans, but the battle was in God's hands. God would be in charge. And at that point, Joshua knew that he could trust God. Like Joshua, boys and girls, we worship our awesome God and know that we can trust him too. And what can we do when we have a big problem? That's right, we can take that problem to God in prayer. And boys and girls, what will God do? God, he will help us and he will tell us exactly what to do. And what do you think about giving your worries to God? I hope that you feel that that's awesome. So let's say our message together, boys and girls, from this lesson. We can worship our awesome God every day. We can trust him. We can put our life in his hands. Whenever we have a problem, we can spend time with him in prayer and he will tell us exactly what to do. So who can you talk to? Just like Joshua, you can talk to the commander of heaven's army Jesus Christ himself. Let's pray. Father, we know that you are a great God and there's nothing that you cannot do. 
There's nothing that you can't handle. And so we thank you in advance for answering our prayers. Help us always to come to you to solve our problems. Help us always to be in the frame of mind to worship you, our awesome God, each and every day. In your son's name, we do pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, keep loving, keep growing, keep serving God, and remember to worship him every day. Until next time, goodbye.